70s and vowed to now make budget balancing the law. James Fitzmorris has the story for us. James. Peter, after seven consecutive deficit budgets, the finance minister says the government is swearing off the red ink for good. Under the proposed bill, future cabinet ministers and senior bureaucrats could face pay cuts if they spend beyond the government's means. If there is a deficit they help create, they would in effect be required to contribute to the government's plan to return to balanced budgets. Joe Oliver defended his government's deficits, saying it was the right thing to do in response to the economic crisis, and spent a good bit of his speech deriding Trudeau's deficits, not his current opponent, the other one. And this budget will look nothing like Pierre Trudeau's budgets. Between 1969 and 1979, federal spending tripled buoyed by temporary highs in commodity prices. For Justin Trudeau, the conservative conversion is a little late. It's uh, fairly ridiculous that this government that has been seven years straight of deficits, five years since the end of the recession, is now talking uh, about balanced budgets just before an election. Over the years, eight provinces passed similar legislation. One by one, they nearly all bent, broke, or repealed the rules. British Columbia has wrestled with the law three times, twice repealing the Balanced Budget Act and amending it a third time to allow for deficits. And the overall inflation Stephen Harper, of all people, should appreciate how tough it is to predict the future. Remember this from 2008? We will not be running a deficit. We will keep our spending within our means. It is that simple. A deeper economic slowdown than anticipated. His government then went on to post the largest budget deficit in Canadian history, $56 billion. The crisis is over. But that was so then, the and this is an election year. It does shore up his base, but I think it really is a lot about trying to push Justin Trudeau into showing his cards on just how much he would deficit finance for his political agenda. Had the legislation been in place earlier, the government likely would have run afoul of it last November. That's when it announced an economic update. The economy was doing better than anticipated. So much so, there would have been a surplus had the Conservatives not spent the money, and then some, on income splitting for families. Peter. All right, James. Thank you. James Fitzmaurice.